Subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest updates. Shri Ekhe Antony, Rahul Ji, Shri Malik Arjun Kharge, Shri Mati Meera Kumar, Lieutenant General A.R.K. Reddy, Vice Admiral S.K. Basin, Air Vice Marshal Kapil Kaak, Captain Praveen Dabar, our brave veterans, party colleagues, friends. Uh, before I begin, I would like to pay a special uh, thank you to the members, former members, distinguished former members of the armed forces for sharing with us their experience. And talking about the strategy which they followed in order to achieve the final victory. Thank you. Fifty years ago, the brave and courageous people of Bangladesh gave themselves a new future. India stood by their side in solidarity to assist them in diverse ways. It provided a home to some 10 million refugees. It extended humanitarian support. It mobilized international backing. It raised its voice in regional and global forums. Ultimately, when attacked, it mounted a hugely successful military operation. The intrepid freedom fighters of Bangladesh must be recalled and cheered. The fine Indian civil servants and intelligence agencies of that time must be recalled and applauded. All those in different countries of the world who stood by Bangladesh and India must be recalled and appreciated. Most of all, the discipline, dedication, valor, and sacrifices of the Indian Armed Forces must be recalled and saluted. It was this extraordinary convergence of a well-planned and perfectly executed political, diplomatic, and military strategy that gave 1971 a distinctive place in the history of the subcontinent. It was a history that reshaped geography as well. It was a remarkable group of individuals who made this truly historic effort possible and so tremendously impactful. It was indeed a gigantic collective enterprise. Listening to them, guiding and being guided by them, leading them in a clear, purposeful and decisive manner was a remarkable woman. Today, we recalled Indira Gandhi with great pride. She remains, she remains an inspiration to crores of Indians for her boldness, for her resilience. She continues to evoke admiration for her fierce determination to make India self-reliant, especially in agriculture, nuclear energy, and space technology, for her commitment to the cause of ecological protection and for her sensitivity to the concern of far-flung areas of our country and its disadvantaged sections. But it will, it will not be an exaggeration to say that 1971 was, in many ways, Indira Gandhi's finest year, starting with the massive mandate she received in March. When the crisis erupted with the brutal crackdown in Dhaka, and other places, 
she immediately understood its implication and swung into action. She reached out to all political parties and public figures. She wrote to presidents and prime ministers. She dispatched emissaries abroad. She ensured that, that the USSR was with India. She traveled tirelessly to Western capitals. She sensitized the, the entire world community to the cause of the people of Bangladesh with personal meetings, interviews, appeals. And how can we ever forget the manner in which she stood up with the greatest fortitude to the crass insensitivity and crude bullying of the then President of the United States and some of his advisors, and did India proud. Those were tension-filled days, weeks and months, but she remained supremely composed and confident, drawing upon her immense reserve of inner strength. She was also at that time, incidentally, Home Minister, right through this turbulent period, her cabinet had a distinguished galaxy of stalwarts, like Jagjivan Ram, Defense Minister, Sardar Swaran Singh, Minister for Foreign Affairs, YB Chavan, and so many others. So today we celebrate a magnific magnificent accomplishment. But I think Indira Gandhi would have wanted us to do so, not in a boastful spirit or in a spirit of self-glorification, but in a spirit of reflection and resolve. Let us therefore recall and celebrate, celebrate the glorious that glorious occasion, reaffirming our steadfast commitment to the values she cherished, the ideals she espoused, and the causes she fought for and ultimately sacrificed her life for. Today, let us congratulate the people of Bangladesh. The country has developed significantly in the face of great challenges. Very recently, the United Nations graduated it from, I quote, least, least developed country to the developing country category. It is only appropriate that Bangladesh's achievements are recognized as it celebrates the golden jubilee of its liberation. India, as you all know, shares a very warm relationship with it and bears a special responsibility to sustain and deepen that relationship. Friends, much has been written about 1971 and indeed much will continue to be written. Undoubtedly, individuals played a pivotal and defining role, and we owe so much to each and every one of them. But it was in reality the triumph of the will of the people of Bangladesh and a fulfillment of their aspirations. It was also a victory of the people of India under the leadership of Prime Minister Indira Gandhi. Thank you. Thank you all. Jai It's great to see you here. Thank you for watching our work. If you haven't subscribed yet, don't forget to click the bell icon and subscribe to Mojo Story and support independent, robust journalism.